Frank Miller's work is legendary. It is some of the most beloved and most popular among American pop culture comics aficionados. The recent record sale at Heritage Auctions of the 1986 Dark Knight Returns number one cover is living proof of this. However, limiting Frank Miller's work to the Cape Crusader would be a big mistake. This talented artist has been a major influence on the international comic art scene. His works on 300, Ronin, Batman, Sin City, Daredevil, and the Electra Saga all display his exceptional talent. Our upcoming comic art and anime signature auction, number 7273, features Frank Miller's original ninja assassin creation, Electra. First appearing in the 1981 Daredevil issue 168, Electra's life was short-lived as she died a short year later in the mythical Daredevil issue 182, She's Alive in 1982. She arrived as a promising figure who met a swift end, which is what Frank had wanted. But Marvel had different plans and insisted Miller revive Elektra, contrary to his will. The character then had an eventful journey, jumping between roles from Matt Murdock's former love interest to superhero to assassin and to mercenary. She also jumped between affiliations and organizations from The Hand to Hydra, S.H.I.E.L.D., Heroes for Hire, and many others. In 1990, Frank Miller had the opportunity to revive his character in Electra Lives Again and killed her off once more. Although Miller never talked too much about it, this issue is important as it marked an artistic transition for Miller between Dark Knight Returns and Sin City, one that demonstrated poetry and melancholy. The page 19 art from Miller's Electra Lives Again is a rare original that features the two main characters in the very graveyard where Matt is mad with grief, desperately clinging to Electra's cross. This original alone contains the most important sequence of the story as it sums up the tremendous grief that overwhelms Matt after the loss of his first love. This lot also features a glossy color proof rendered to the same scale which, when superimposed, reproduces the effect of the published page with Lynn Varley's colors. A second color proof which contains the cover of the graphic novel also accompanies the set. Make no mistake, this visual is one of those instantly recognizable images that is part of the American pop culture comics landscape. Don't miss out on your chance to bid on this original Miller art.